Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have one, two, three, four brand new Vosties. This one's a new model. This one's a new model. This is a new configuration. This is a new configuration and I'm gonna give a Vostie away. I'll tell you how that's gonna happen here in just a second. I'm gonna get these out. We're gonna check them out, see what we think all about them. I'm gonna put them back down here on the table and get one out at a time. And this is all gonna start right now. Now to save a little bit of time, I went ahead and took these out of the box already, and we're gonna get right in them. By the way, the one that I'm giving away, I'm collabing, <laughs> I'm collabing with Vosteed. It's gonna look similar to this, if not exactly like this. It's gonna be a raccoon. You know, I've done a million videos on the raccoon, love it, crossbar lock, but I'll tell you how to do that here in just a minute. But these are the new one. This is the new Vosteed Griffin. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And all of its griffinness. <laughs> I think I like the black one a little bit better. There's four different color variations of the Griffin, and I'm gonna not delay. You ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh, Mama Sita! Look at that blade. You know, I've been off for a few days for the holidays, spending time with family, and now we're back in business, and it feels good to be back under the camera. Would you look at this? I am digging that hawkbill. Ooh, look at that compound grind. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A little bit of 14C, 28 in, baby. Oh yes, now I'm liking this. This is very, very nice. Has a little bit thicker edge up here. Maybe you can use that for a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, uh, scraping and cleaning some parts or maybe stripping a little bit of wire. Ooh, now I'm digging that. That is a long blade. That's a three and a half inch hawk bill right there. And taking a quick tour, we do have a sharpening choil going all the way down. It's a very nice looking G10. Very nice, very, very nice. A little, little bit of texture vision for you. Um, that It's just a little bit textury, not overly textury. And look at this, a full length backspacer. Oh my goodness. And what, let's see, there. Here, here's your other co colorway. And I can tell you right now, just for my first two flicks, I'm, I'm digging it. Look at that, wow, that is a major blader. And I do know from looking at the website that you can get this in the black stone wash or the regular stone wash. And let's see what it looks like on this side. Check it out. And this is a collab, a collaboration with RS Knifeworks. Everybody's a collaboration these days. And let's see, does this have a, it does not have a reversible clip. And let's see, left and right, up and down. That's good on that one. Left, right, up and down, good on that one. What kind of lockup? Lockup's right where we want it, right in the middle. How about this one? Since we have two from the same place, same model, we might as well check them, right? And is this one centered? This one is centered. And how about this bad boy? Oh yeah, it's right in the center. Now, look at this. Oh yes, it has such a good snap. And it's, ooh, it's pretty darn smooth too, baby. Can we over the top it? Ooh, yes, okay, I'm liking this. Oh man, can you hear that pop? Let's see if this one feels the same. Oh yes, a little bit of, little bit of sound division for you. Has a very nice snap to it. And mm, now wait a minute, is this back? Is, oh, hold the bus. Look at this, we have a back flipper. I didn't even realize it was just kind of hiding back there. Really nice jimping on here. Yes, we have multiple deployment. So we have a rear flipper, a front flipper, and the thumb flick. Wait a minute, can we use the thumb? Yes, it's a thumb hole that can actually be used with your thumb. So this is a major multiple deployment. One, two, three, four sides. The only thing it doesn't have is a fuller, but I don't think I'd want a fuller on this blade. I'm lo loving that hawk bill. And how does it feel? Ooh, yeah, it feels nice and sharp. Couple quick dimensions on this bad boy. Let's see, we're coming from tip to tip, coming in at about 8.19 inches, and your blade, oh wow, sharpened length is right there at the 3.5 inch mark, which is very nice, very, very nice. For your blade height, we're coming in at about one inch. So yeah, this is, I'm digging this. I, now that I know that it has a rear flipper, <laughs> I mean, I'm, some some knife folks are not rear flipper people. I am. Now I just found out something right there. If I, if I do the push button, my finger's gonna stop it. So this is not gonna be a push button. This is gonna be more of a light switch, giving it front to back, just like that. Don't go straight down. If you go straight down, you're gonna stop it with your finger. That is easy to remedy just because I know how to operate it and I know how it's gonna react. Oh, it's, so the action is very good on it. It's solid, it has good lockup, it's centered. Um, one little drawback is that it's not a reversible clip. And let me give you a quick size comparison with 
the raccoon. There's the raccoon. So you can see it's a longer knife. Now, how about the ergos? My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here. And I hope you're having a beautiful day. And from bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Yep. You have plenty of room, large hands, extra large hands, small hands. It's going to fit everybody's hands. Let me see. Giving it the old B squeeze. If I'm really bearing down and pushing, um, what am I feeling? I'm feeling the inside of the G10 right along inside here. So I might be tempted to get some uh, some sandpaper and just go just a couple times on the inside of there because that is the only thing I'm feeling. Now, holding it normal, holding it back like this, look at that, you kind of get the, you get the whole harpoon action along with the hawk bill. And this kind of reminds me of, a, what is it, Toucan Sam. Now that is very nice. The only thing that would make that better is that if that had a little bit of texture, a little bit of digga 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 dig, but it doesn't, and I'm not hating it. I don't hate that at all. Man, if you are pulling, it is gonna draw whatever you're cut right into that blade, same way, either direction. It's gonna pull it right in. I am, I'm digging that, I like that. For a lightweight, everyday carry, that is not too shabby. Let me, let me see how this one feels right here. So this one, um, this one feels just pretty much the same. The only thing I can feel is just the inside of the G10 over here. That would be a nitpick. That's the only nitpick that I'm really seeing right off the bat out of this knife. It is a nice looking everyday carry knife with a big blade. Every time Vossi comes up with something new, I'm always excited about it. And this is no exception. It has great ergos. I like the flippability, the flickability front flip ability, so you have all your options, and Vosti's really big on giving you all your deployment options too. So that is the Vosti Griffin, and there's four different kinds, or four different colorways to choose from, and I, I'm digging it. Now let's get out this fancy one and see what it's all about. Now I wrote sat down a few notes about this bad boy, and there's something that I just learned right before I went to make this video that I'm a little <laughs> excited to show you. I'm egg sighted. Let me get in here and pay attention to what I'm doing and not cut myself. Yeah, that I mean, if I did, you know, I keep a band-aid handy, and you know, I'm just roughhousing the boxes. And these these are a little more premium. They come in the fancy tins. This is what they look like. They always Vosteed always comes in nice packaging, and I'm just you know I'm just gonna throw stuff all over the place because I know you don't want to see all of the unboxing, but I do want you to see my first impression of this version of this knife. And yes, oh my goodness gracious, this is some good looking stuff. Oh yes, look at this. Oh mamacita. Oh yeah, look at that. This is the Vosteed Thunderbird with the cloud carbon fiber. Oh my lanta, would you look at that? Just look at that. All of them are absolutely different. None of them have the same pattern. And something I'm gonna show you is this backspacer. It is glow in the dark. Yeah, that's right. Glow in the dark, baby, and it's acrylic. This has an integral recessed button. Let's see, that button, oh yeah, it is recessed. Very nice, very, very nice. Now I've shown many, Oh yeah, I, I do like the smaller version of the Thunderbird, just a little bit more than the bigger version. I'm not sure why, I, th I there's something about this one. I like the smaller version just a little bit better. It has a compound hollow ground blade, it's a harpoon, and you know you gotta have a little bit of poon, and it has a fuller, it's multiple deployment. You can open this knife in any way you could ever imagine. All the ways that I was showing you with the last knife, and even more, has great jimping, it's not, doesn't have the strongest blade retention. If I come down heavy, I can get some bounce out. But look at this, this carbon fiber. Let me show you both of these carbon fibres. Look at that. You know what? I think I'm digging the green. I like the green. Tell me, what's your favorite color? You never know when I might give one away, right? Look at that. That is very nice. Reversible pocket clip. And I like the fact that it has the, the filler tab. That is very cool. And Good pocket clip. I have another one of these. I carry it. I like it. And let's see the action. Oh, do you hear that ting? Ooh, get a little bit of that ting ting action. Any ting you want. 
yeah, so I'm digging it. This is a 2.98 inch blade. It's M390 blade steel, baby. And I love that Tanto. This is designed by you. He is one of my all time favorite designers. Bastide, they just, they know what they're doing. They know how to please. They have great customer service. They make great knives. And you know what? I'm gonna check out this whole glow in the dark thing. And maybe I'll do a cutaway so it shows up better. Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah, look at that. You can even, let me uh, charge it just a little bit here. And oh yeah, look at that. That is some good glow in the dark. Underneath my studio lights, it is still, it is showing up that bright. That's very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that is sweet. But I'm not gonna go long in the tooth about the Vostied Thunderbird. I've made many, many videos about this knife and this is another configuration that you have to choose from now. And I do like that they did a little something different. And back here, you can see you do have a spot for a lanyard for all you lanyard lovers. So here are two of the new cloud carbon fiber versions along with the new Griffin. I'm really digging this Griffin. That blade right there, this is my kind of blade. I mean, <laughs> What am, I, what am I saying? I'm a, I'm a knife nut. I love all the blades, all the knives that come out, but I am definitely a boss. Oh yeah, I'm digging this. I think I'm going to carry this one tomorrow for sure. I'm liking that. <laughs> that is a good one. I will have a link in the description and in the comment section where you can go check these out and a link to how you can enter to win. And this, this is going to be a fast giveaway. This is only going to run till the 31st. So the link is down below where you can check these out. And then all you have have to do is be subscribed to Bees Blades. It doesn't cost you anything. Subscribing to a YouTube channel is free, but subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way YouTube will let you know a half an hour before the live stream starts because we do more giveaways every Friday, but that's just a little bit of added fun. So I hope you enjoyed checking out this new configuration and this brand new, and these are available. They were sold out and then they came available again. So I'm excited that I get to show you the Griffin. So let me know what you think about them. Tell me your favorite color. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? And until I see you again, go watch this video. You're really gonna enjoy that. I love you all. Have a great day, have a great night. Make sure you comment and hit the thumbs up button. And remember, live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.